Alright, this is my Raspberry Pi Zero, and I have already soldered uh, two by 20 uh, male pins onto it. The Unlike the Raspberry, other models of Raspberry Pi, the Zero does not come with the header pins soldered on. So I've already done this, and you can see, uh, not perfect, uh, but it certainly does the job. So what I then what I found out is um, I didn't really like how the uh, ribbon cable sticks up. You know, if I wanted to make a project box, we're kind of assuming now that uh, even though all of our uh, USB power and HDMI cables are kind of in this plane going away, now our ribbon cable is sticking up. So I didn't like that. I also found that with uh, the case that I'm using, uh, the ribbon cable no, doesn't fit on the, the pins because the case comes around here and I'll show you that in another video. So what I am going to do now is on my other zero, I'm gonna do a right angle uh, set of pins. And my first thought was, just like I did on this one, go male so that I can um, connect my ribbon cable just like that. But I think what I'm gonna do, instead of this uh, right angle male to male set, uh, which is a good idea, I think. I think a better idea is actually go to female. And the reason being, if I can just get this in here quickly, this is always the tricky part. Hey, um, I think I'll do female because what I can do then is just plug it directly into uh, this breakout right on the breadboard. And um, if I still wanted to use um, ribbon cable, what I could do is I could get a set of male-to-male uh, -male, um, pins to put in between here and it would go then directly uh, to the ribbon cable. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So um, I will get this guy in my pan of ice. A pan of ice is a super helpful gadget that holds PCBs and um, I think just for the light I will do that okay so uh, this right angle is nice too because unlike when we were doing the straight ones nothing uh, held that in and so I actually had to solder this corner and then that corner just to hold it in place um, on the on the board and uh, then I could do them all but here because of the friction I can just go through and solder them all so I'm just gonna quickly tin my iron and so soldering is pretty simple you just have to apply heat uh, to both ends get a little solder going and I think I will just to make sure just hit those and then just go along solder each one The only thing you really want to avoid is making a bead of solder in between the pins. So don't use too much. Yeah, it's running out of solder now, of course. I'll be right at the end. <clears throat> okay. 
Um, so now I'm just going to inspect it quick. Let's see here if I can get in the light. Not perfect, but um, good enough for now. I think I might clean up that one, but um, anyway, the idea here, now that it's nice and solid in here, we can just plug it right into our breakout. Of course, I need to keep it in camera, just like that. And so, uh, in this case, it'll be nice to prototype, um, and uh, you know, without having you know two pieces in the ribbon cable. But like I said before, once I put it into a project, I will go. Uh, get a um, 2 by 20 male to male set of header pins so I can plug it directly in there. Thanks for watching.